Hey, how you doing? It's Ian. In this video, really quickly, I want to introduce you to not necessarily a new feature, but something that is pretty cool that I don't believe a lot of consultants and definitely small business owners aren't using uh, with Facebook ads. And that is, if you're just going to zoom in here, their dynamic creative feature. So something Facebook has never done a really good job at, in my opinion, is allowing split testing. It's very difficult to do unless you've got large budgets to work with. There are third-party tools like Adspresso and things like that will, that will do it. But for me and working with local businesses, this is the best tool that's allowed us to do what we want to do. Uh, if you click the link above, if you're on Facebook or click the link below, if you're on YouTube and you can download a full tutorial on how we're actually doing this and making it work and the types of tests we do. Um, so if you don't know where this feature is, how it works or what it does, go click that and go grab it, download it, put your email in and away you go. Uh, so what you do when you're creating your ad set, it's just right here, you turn on dynamic creative. And what this allows you to do, I'm gonna go over to another screen here because I've got an example, is when you scroll down here where you're creating your ad, you've got the ability to add more that you can add more images and it's not the same way as when you're creating a carousel if you add another image here then it's going to swap the images then down here you've got different versions of text one two three versions of text right uh you can have different urls you can have different headlines right different news feed link descriptions and what ends up happening is at once you set this up facebook then split tests them all around the same as if you put two ads in one ad set and it tries to figure out what combination wins so the my opinion on how this should really be used is test one thing at a time rather than all of them. So either test the image first to see what image gets the most impact and then test the text above, right? That's probably gonna make the biggest impact in 99% of cases. Now, how do you tell what's winning in terms of how things convert? Well, when you're in your ad manager, I'm gonna zoom in here for you. There's this breakdown button I'm gonna show you right here. Click breakdown, it drops down for you here. Oh, I zoomed in too far, give me just a moment. There we go, breakdown, right here. You click that, and down here you've got dynamic creative asset. When you click that, it's gonna say, what do you wanna look at it by? So let's say we wanna look at it by text, right? Now I didn't do two different versions of text for that one, so it's not gonna give me, oh, I did actually, I did two versions. So you can see right here, this one here as a split, and it's showing you how they're performing. So the only thing we can really look at on this right now today, it's running for day, the, the bottom one has more impressions, right? But let's look at a little bit longer period. This ad hasn't been running for a really long time. Let's look at the last seven days and we'll see. Hopefully it should still do this. I don't have to bring it back up. There we go. So this one here, the top one has got more clicks, right? So that's telling me that that initially, not with a ton of impressions, is getting a better click-through rate than the other one. So for me, as I let this run longer, that's gonna tell me that that text wins. Do the same thing with images, do the same thing with whatever you're running. If I take that text away and I go look at image rather than text, it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna bring up the two image examples that I've got rolling, here we go. Four clicks on this one, right? So the thing is when you're running multiple things at the same time, it's hard to tell what part of that test is actually winning, which is why I recommend doing one thing at a time. So either do the text above the image or the image itself. Again, you can click the link above this video or on Facebook or below it if you're on YouTube to go download a complete demo of me actually setting this up for a particular business. But it's it's important to do this, especially when you're launching a new ad, because I'm gonna have another video coming out in the future on this, but the copy that you have above the image, and of course the image itself are the two things that have the biggest impact combined with the offer that you're making to whoever you're targeting. And people that don't, people generally say, well, Facebook ads don't work, either had a crappy offer, they had poor targeting, or they just never got the message in the image right to get people interrupted and actually engaged. So I hope that's helpful. Use this for clients if you're a consultant. If you're running your own Facebook ads, definitely use this. Um, and once you figure out a winning combination, then just let it roll until you see things start to, to simmer down. When you start to see you know click-throughs on impressions getting getting a lot lower, or your, your relevancy, although it don't take relevancy as gospel, but going way down, or you're just getting frequency. So frequency being the number of people that see it getting too high. And that's going to be sort of an, a symptom of how big your city is. So hope that's helpful. Again, click the link above if you're on Facebook, below if you're on YouTube to go download a full demo of this being done, and you can start implementing it in your campaigns. Thanks. Bye for now.